Hey guys, welcome back to some Alice Madness Returns. This time we're gonna get the pepper grinder. And here it is. It's our first ranged weapon. It's nice. I like it. Uh, well, you know, anything ranged with me. It's not like super, super good, but you know, uh, it's like it's effective enough as a ranged weapon, you know? That's all it needs to be. And caps lock is where this actually helps in now, like the whole targeting thing. And so you can see on the upper right, there's actually like a little counter thingy. I'm gonna wanna stab this thing. I know I can switch. And we get a bit of health back occasionally, so as I said, no regenerating health. We can also range these things. Uh, let, me, let me get closer to it. I can't even tell what the hell's going on. This is why it's sometimes easier just not to lock in on anything. I think there's another one somewhere. Oh, that would be it right there. prefer to take these out first. We can probably just actually knife these guys. It's more effective when they're at when they're this close. Like when I want to when I want to keep my distance, then it makes sense, but you know. Like this look this thing, I can I can soften them up a little bit. Piss them off a little bit. You know. Oh, careful with that attack. And uh, there you go. It's the, the snouts. Enter aiming mode. So they, they give you collectibles and shit, so. And you can hear them, actually. Let's go over here. I like the little the flutter jumping thing. It's awesome. I don't, I don't really know why I'm using the pepper grinder to, to open those, but whatever. Oh. Oh. That wasn't a collectible. So occasionally there's like hidden ones. Yeah, now it's telling me how to, how to play the game. I, I doubt there's many secrets actually this early on. Ooh, there's a basket. How does that even mean? Forget. Can I go over here? Nope. Maybe she's telling me I'm a basket case. That's probably it. So it usually points out where it is if there's an actual item there. Uh, but I don't see anything of that sort, so I'm just gonna assume there's nothing here. Or maybe I'll just be coming back here later. Oh, this is, this is now telling me about, uh, the fact that I can use it to kill enemies, which we knew. Oh, here's the basket. Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away. Can I open it? There we go. There you go. We're done here. Fine. You old hag. I'm getting out of here. Well then. This is a cool place. I love these little environments. It's just... It's so cool. Oh, where do we go? Well, we can see that there's a pepper grinder. Ah, uh, there's an encounter down here. I want the goodies. Hey. So apparently I shouldn't have jumped down here. I didn't actually need to do that. Hopefully I can get back up there. So right now I'm like manually aiming it. I don't know why. 
Yeah, there has to be a way back up. We'll figure it out. Oh, but there's rainbows. I'm distracted by colors. And that's obviously a waterfall down to the bottom. Oh, here we go. Hop in here. Hey, there you go. See? Secret. I assume that they can't follow me in here. Oh, they'll try. Because this is a little bit too small for them. There we go. Okay, I need to I need to get back up there somehow. Thing is it may just want me to kill those things. I can actually long range this guy. I can just go attack these things. There we go, we got him. Even though I can't lock him in that one directly, I can still kind of shoot him. These things are very weak too. You know, you gotta... I don't really see the point in wasting my pepper grinder on him. Oh, no, 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 get off, get off. Oh yeah, dodge it, okay. Right, it's all coming back to me. The last time I played this was actually a very long time ago. There we go. I, and I didn't finish it all the way through, and I'm like, I wanna, I wanted to finish it. And that's what we're doing today. Okay, here's how I get back up. All right. You know, I can just kind of stay here. There's no way they're coming, coming over to me. Oh, unless they chuck shit at me. God damn it! I was trying to get up here. So, it can be a little bit like, kind of repetitive gameplay, that was one of the criti heavy criticisms they had for this game. Okay, I'm, I'm still hearing the music. I don't know why that is. Finish your suit, girls. Bit more health. That's the last one. Thing is, I'm not getting a lock on anything. I'm guessing it's somewhere. Hey, look, there's a nice little globe here. With a cow. Oh, there, that that's it. Alright, let me go kill it. Oh, no fall damage, by the way. One of those flower things. Ah, right, we're done in this area. Hey, there we go. Look at that thing. And even more of a bridge. But we just gotta explore here. No, the goodie is? Nope. Well, it does tell you on the wall here that there's a snout over here, so, you know. It's one of those things where if you're stuck, wow, I didn't even need this to get over here. I, I forgot completely that that actually opened up an area. Let's see, okay, we've already been down there. Oh, damn. You're not gonna, yeah, he's gonna move on me. Okay, well, it's just simple timing, and then we get over here. We get, we get, we get more teeth. So the, the teeth, what they do is they go, uh, well, we get a bunch of like, uh, chapter one stuff here. Exactly what the button is for that. You can upgrade your stuff basically. Wow. Okay. I almost didn't make that. That was a close one. And this goop here. Ew. Oh, we can go just... That's it for them. Slugs are just ew. 
Oh, look, there's a, there's a little secret up there. Yeah, we got that guy, and that's it. They have like a little creepy doll heads. Oh, wait, the slug's here. Go kill them. Well, let's see. What do we want? To, where do we want to go? We want to go over there. However, I think this is going to spawn at. Yeah, that's it. And right in here. See secrets. This is how this game handles them. And usually you get teeth and some other things. But as I said, not a big deal if you miss them. They're, they're just kind of there and they're nice. But you know. If I miss one, then don't 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 have a heart attack. It's not gonna really gonna affect the outcome of the game at all. Chances are I probably will miss something eventually. You know how Mike rolls. Miss all the secrets. We're on like a floating Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, that escalated quickly. We want to get that, so... I'm gonna kick all these rocks down. Fuck you, rocks. I'm not entertained by the physics. <laughs> okay, this seems kind of unrealistic, but you know... I think the entire thing is unrealistic, so let's just... We'll, we'll give the game a pass. Okay. Wow. That was risky. the lock on whenever I'm using the pepper. Oh shit. I didn't even see him coming behind me. Mostly because my frames are dropping just slightly. Alright, well let's keep going. It's not that it's a very intensive game, it's that the game insists on capping the frame rate, so it's kind of odd. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I think we actually don't get... Fuck, let me off of this thing. And there we go, we float over here, nice, nice, safe and sound. So far, haven't fucked up a jump yet. The railway running through Wonderland sounds charming, but inefficient. Noise and smoke, like snips and snails, perhaps. Best to forget that train. A mock turtle as conductor, oh no, I don't think that can Okay, I'm having fun with physics, okay? Don't you judge me. Uh, I think that was it. There wasn't a, anything else over here, so... <laughs> Bye, trees? Is there anything over there? Nope. Because they'll always tell you. Well, it's telling me uh, what's coming up ahead. So, usually enemies have some sort of uh, indicator that what they're doing is they're gonna, when they're, when they're about to hurt me, you know? Oh, it's, I want to get this thing right here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really make it up there. Oh, that was it. That was the ticket. Come on, there we go. I have to kind of wait for this thing. And I'm losing my health. This is kind of why I don't like that the fucking combat gets really weird when you're using the caps lock thing. Because I'm trying to get away from them and it's like twisting me around them. It may have something to do with the control scheme. I don't die. How pathetic would that be? First chapter, I die. Let's go get some health. 
Oh, here we go. Some extra bonus items over here. Nothing else over here, though. Oh, hey. Please don't stand on that, because I, I, I don't want to go jumping up there. I want to kill you instead. Thank you, Batamore, sir. I can't tell which one you are. Uh, gather the pearly whites. They're talking about the, the, the teeth. And so there you go. So now I get to upgrade something. So, uh, now I can go upgrade the Vorpal Blade. I am absolutely sure I want to do that, because that's a really nice weapon. Technically, they're all really nice. They all have their uses. So, you know, I'm good with that. So there was an upgrade thing. I told you. Later, train. I've so always hated mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. So, as you've been noticing, I attack much faster with it. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So, not too bad. So, I think if I press escape, do I get the upgrade? Yeah, I get the upgrade thing. That's what, that's what I thought I was missing. So, there you go. So, you can upgrade them whenever you choose to. What the hell? Why is my mouse still here? Okay, I have to restart the game to fix that, but now there is no more problems, so don't worry about it anymore. So I'm guessing this is the way forward. Some creepy railroad tracks, so let's not go that way quite yet, because there was a whole area up here that we did not explore. Also, I have to get these things again. I, don't, I forgot if I got them. Oh god, repeating content. Or no, apparently I did get them. They just respawned. You know, it's, it's, when you think about it, like, these items are innocent and, and very video game-like, like, kind of like teeth, but you're kind of wondering, it's like, it's, it's a game about insanity and, you know, you, you kind of wonder, is she, like, is she imagining this, uh, like, this world and actually, you know, doing these things in real life and, like, you know, collecting real people's teeth or something? You, you just don't know. It's, it's really quite interesting. I can't go in there, apparently. Oh, well. Actually, wait, was there a, perhaps a, this thing is letting me know to go up here. Sorry, I, I have to see, I would, I would hate myself if I missed anything. I guess there isn't anything, alright. And just the entire world just turns into shit, and it's, it's fucking awesome. Oh wait, nope, I'm gonna go over here. There we go. What? Okay, apparently I used up all my jumps at that point. No, I screwed up on the platforming. I'll never forgive myself. All right, we're back here. And apparently it put me right over here. And I messed up, messed up two of my jumps. Okay. Oh, I think you only get two right. Okay, sorry. So you're supposed to float. My bad. I said no penalty. Oh, fuck, what? Fucking slugs. Hate slugs. God damn it! Killed my parents. What? Okay. They're like floating rocks and all that kind of crap. Wonder if we can go back, Alice. Let's go! Oh no. Apparently not. Apparently this makes it go a little bit faster. Well then. Oh, that's right. I can I can use that as my final thing. That's kind of convenient. All right. Let's go. Oh, break open some teapots. So here's where actually the combat starts to get a little bit more difficult. Like up to now, you've been watching me pretty much breeze through the combat, even though I got hit a couple of times. This is actually where the combat begin. You have to actually like try. Yeah, these guys like see how they're like coming after me. I have to, I have to like. You ideally want to take out one at a time.
They're horrible people. Oh god damn it. So these guys not too hard. But it gets harder because of these guys. Yeah, I know you can dodge enemy attacks. So this one I'm kind of using to... He's kind of got his little shield thing. Basically, you gotta use his little vulnerability with his shield. Like, when he does that, that's how you kill this guy. So, you know, not as straightforward anymore. Kind of requires a bit more finesse, but not too much. And they're based upon the Mad Hatter. That's kind of cool. So that's it. I like to I like to soften him up. Let me just fight him down here. I got that guy's little armor from long range. There you go. And I chopped their head off. What I like about this is most of these items and weapons are just ordinary world things. It's and it's kind of just creepy. <laughs> like it just like you, you don't think about it, but it, it is. God damn it. Yeah, that guy this guy has a shield. Where's that other guy? Well Damn it. Kind of worried. That's why I'm kind of fighting down here. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Well, there you go. Now I have to continue from where I last left off. Okay, let me try this engagement again. I have a bit less health this time. I won't lie. I was kind of just rushing through it. I'm like, oh, I, I should be able to do this. My overconfidence is my undoing. Okay, here we go. We got that guy. Okay, come after me. Oh, we go. Oh, I almost got hit again. Then when he's vulnerable. There we go. And we got him, there you go. They, they really are not that hard, I don't know why I died. It's because I suck balls, whatever. I hate myself. Can I get that tooth? Thank you. Oh, here we go, these flower things. These are nice. So, you crouch, walk right into them. They heal you back to full. Regenerating health mechanic! Nah, they're okay. They're nice. You kind of just sit inside and, you know, have a good time. Maybe look at around. Uh, nice scenery and all that. Maybe any secrets around and you're done. And they drop, uh, teeth. A, a flower that drops teeth, don't ask. What the shit? A little mole person inside the... machine. So, you can... I can kind of just go in and get more teeth. Someone wants some? The hell is that? It's creepy as hell. Like it's just, I, don't know, I just used up my last health regeneration thing. So hopefully we won't be needing it. By luck, I probably will. I think I got everything here. We're good. So that was like the first actual. Like it's actually introducing you to the combat of the game. And uh, I have no idea where to go. And then shrink sense will reveal past to me. And this is basically telling you, oh look, there's a nice little uh, path here. There's also a uh, nice little secret here, too. So. What the hell? Oh, fucking... I hate these bugs. God damn it, I should have broken them open before... I went and regenerated all my health. kind of cool seeing these little side passages and then all that was here was a bottle so this is, what, this is what, how most of the secrets in this game work they just have like the bottle inside and that's it come on let's go well 
But nothing's really moving here. I can't see where it ends. Oh, let's go get this bottle. It could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. Crook? Died, didn't he? Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but I trust Mr. Dickens. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Next time we'll uh, continue on our merry way. Uh, so see you later. Bye.